think it's a problem. Well, we come up with the structure of the database. That's the most important part of designing a successful database is to get the structure right. And that's the hardest thing for even professional so-called developers <laughs> to do is to understand that both the business of the client and the structure of the way data needs to be uh, built so that it can be used further on down the line, so it'll grow, so it'll scale. And so it's not only does it move from one version of Access to another, but when he was saying scaling, Access is amazing as a prototype, because it's such a rapid development. And so if you've got the right structure for your tables, you can it can continue to evolve and grow from something that is maybe serving two people to something that's serving 50,000 people. And so you can move it from an Access storage container for the data to SQL Server, to SharePoint, to whatever you need to do. I, I will say this unequivocally, Microsoft Office is the most powerful of all the Office applications precisely because it totally integrates. Every application through VBA integrates with every other application and it's the only system that does that. Browser control. Yes. That's, I think that's, we, there was one of the comments even in the group, it's probably the biggest source of where people go from with their trying to use their own data and then it becomes overwhelming. How do you manage all this? And, and with access, it's like, it allows you, uh, one of the co comments is, you know, it's Excel on steroids or multiple steroids because a, that's the layout. It structures your data and reuses it so you're not re-entering it. And they're a great partnership. There's things that are in Excel and people are very familiar with Excel. So one of the things that's important to realize is it doesn't mean you're transitioning and you have to give up the other. You can work with them together and we do that a lot. Right. And you could, So you can put your data, bring it in from Excel, work with it in Access, manage it, send it back to Excel. And so people, especially people who are used to having very specific reports and have all these formulas already calculated and stuff, we'll let Access do the storage and the management, push it back to Excel, and keep using all of those resources that you've developed for years and years. Access is so quick to develop with that I don't care what other application, even within Microsoft, I can build an application five times to six times faster than the most accomplished programmers in anything else. Well, you were talking about rapid development, and they were asked yesterday. We talked about um, the .NET, and why are people using? Why wouldn't you just switch over? And when do you use a .NET framework for online databases and that? And when do you use Access? And even a sh there's a several companies that use both Access or .NET. No matter what they do. They cannot get it any closer than five times the hours to do a .NET app than an Access app. So if there's any reason or if there's any way of using it with the Access front end, right there is your reason, you know. Right. Now that doesn't mean that there isn't legitimate use for .NET front exactly. ends. Exactly. There are. But, but, but for quick development and, and prototyping, prototyping, there is absolutely nothing that beats Access. Yeah.